So if you got like 46 million people following on Instagram, you're probably doing something pretty good. <laughs> like, you know, when there's 46 million people following you, like that's a lot of uh, followers. Uh, Nora Fatehi is with us in the yeah. studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're so cool. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. So, I mean, yeah, firstly, happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, this I would say this was the best birthday of my life. Was it? This birthday week. Why? Yeah. I just had all my loved ones with me, like all my childhood friends from Canada flew down, my friends from LA flew down, just everyone who's so dear and close to me came down, we all, we partied at Namus, we partied on a yacht, yeah, did <laughs> we Dubai. just did everything and it was just so nice to have them, I felt so lucky. Do you feel like the, the uh, sort of older you get and the more experienced you get that you start to realise that the simple things in life mean the most, like being around your friends and family for your birthday? Definitely, I feel like the younger I get, it's it's about friends and family. Yeah, the, yeah. Young, the, younger the younger you get, you get, I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like me. I only keep going backwards somehow. <laughs> Wait, we stop at 25, that's is where that, we stop. Is that, is that we it? don't grow older than no, 25. No, no, definitely. Like, right? I, I was was just saying on my Instagram that like two days back, I'm like, I'm serving you. <laughs> you know, like, you are. every year. <laughs> you, look, you look 25 though. I don't know what your age is, but I am. that's right. You'll always will be. at 25. So um, you've had such a uh, obviously an amazing career. How did it all kick off? Like, when did this even begin? So to understand, if you don't know what Nora actually does, is is and it's pretty remarkable. Canadian girl, yep. like, grew up in Canada, born and raised in Toronto. Born and raised in Toronto, but then started doing films, singing, dancing, and it all in a language that That's, you didn't grow up speaking. It's foreign to me completely. Yeah. So when did when did you learn? I, I learned when I went to India. So I, I went to India, sussed out everything, and I'm like, oh, okay. I need to learn the language. Because why India? Because you're, you're Moroccan by uh, ethnicity. ethnicity. So how did India even come into this? Because at the time that I like graduated from high school and then I was in uni and I'm like, nah, like I need to pursue my dreams of acting, performing and all this. The entertainment, the world of entertainment. There's only two places in the world that are known, which is Hollywood and Bollywood. Hmm. So um, Bollywood made more sense to me because it incorporates music and dance with yeah. cinema. So you get it all. And that's mm. what I wanted. I want all of it. Um, I didn't want to be in an industry where they you couldn't merge all three together that's so awesome that's what, but I, mean, I didn't think about the language part when i went that I that know, that to one, my mind okay. <laughs> until i arrived <laughs> so you thought okay well hold on now i've got to learn the language mm. uh you learned uh hindi i'm guessing yes hindi. and how long did that take you to learn it was a process um it took it was one year of being anti-social locking myself in the house with my teacher every day and good on you just learning 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 and then consuming a lot of uh, Hindi television and Hindi music and Hindi cinema um, and then after a year I start to understand the language better but it's hard to speak it immediately because everyone speaks English in India yes. I mean, at least in Mumbai <laughs> no right? it's true yeah. it's true everyone speaks Everyone's it's like it's more like English, but there's like three Hindi words in a twenty-word sentence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, and for someone who's learning it, you're like, no, just speak to me. Reply in to me <laughs> in, in Hindi. You know, so it was a bit tough. But when I threw myself into the reality show world, because when you're doing reality TV yeah. like Big Boss and Chalak, which is um, the Dancing with the Stars Indian version, you have to speak in Hindi because it's television. That's where I started actually using yeah. what I was learning. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you threw yourself really into the deep end. Like, that's that's pretty crazy to do so. So you can you can have a normal conversation yeah. right now with Pretty in Hindi. It's okay. Hindi is so good when you judge. So, you use such words that you use. Sometimes, I also think, what did you say? Thank you. Because I tried a lot. 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 And I worked with my heart and I worked with my heart. You know, and this is one thing that I think your fans think that they appreciate it very much. Yeah. Because you have taken our culture, our Indian culture, mm-hmm. and you have embraced it that we're just like, you're one of us. Yeah, and, and you know what? She made a really valid point. Like, you know, you're one of us. Yeah, and, and you know what? She made a really valid point. Like, embracing culture and being one. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe in assimilating and I believe in adapting yeah and i think my toronto background helped because toronto is such a cosmopolitan city yeah, yeah. um we don't we don't know what culture shock is what's that <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah 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 give me a sorry let me wear it you know if i go to somalia i'm like give me a dada let me wear it you know we we're just so multicultural and that helped me really assimilate in india very well that's awesome you did yeah. so well. rossi did you want to translate that conversation that they just had there, mate? <laughs> <Chris>? <laughs> no jaldi jaldi let's go yes. yeah i've worked with these guys for 15 years yeah. chris tell them 
Uh, tell her how much Hindi you've learned. Casio. Bus. Casio. Casio. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's I love the extent. That. Casio. Yeah. That's all I got. Babakuf. <laughs> Babakuf. Yeah, we've done Babakuf. That's, that's important. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's because you might need to tell a few people about you know? <laughs> Uh Can we talk about this single? Because you got a brand new single out, and it's called "I'm Bossy." Mm-hmm. The title, tell me more, give me more. Facts. It's facts. <laughs> serving youth, serving facts. Serving facts. Are you, are, do you feel like you got that boss, you got that boss mentality? Yes. You're in a relationship, are you a boss? Um, you know what? Someone recently just asked me this question. Yeah. And I had to think. I don't think I I can be. Sure. If I need to, like if I need to crack the whip. Yeah, you're there. But I don't want to be because okay. I'm already like that in every other department of my life. I feel you. Um, especially in my career. Yeah, you um, you don't want to have to do that in a relationship. Yeah, I'm like, let me turn it off. Let me be my feminine energy. You I know? like that. I like <laughs> that. You've got other music, obviously, that you've done over the years as well, mm-hmm. um, and including one that you did for a little. There was a little sporting event called <laughs> the World Cup. <laughs> Some of you may know the Football World Cup. And you happen to do just a little song for the... Yeah. You had the World Cup song. How did, that is unbelievable. I know. When, 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 you, when all that was going on, are you, are you able to appreciate these moments that you're having in your life? Because sometimes we move on very quickly. You achieve something, what's next? I mean, that is a big achievement. The World Cup song, how was that? I, I, that's not me. I, I don't move on. Yeah. I just I rub it in everyone's face <laughs> <laughs> forever. Good. You know, it, it was just amazing. I actually just put out the my mini documentary about my journey in the World Cup on my YouTube channel. Awesome. It's about an hour, and you get to see like all the behind the scenes, the details of the whole entire journey up to when I entered the field to do the closing ceremony. And wow. how was that entering the closing ceremony of the the football World Cup? Oh, it was overwhelming. It was. Magnificent. Yeah. I'll never have that feeling ever again unless yeah. they call me for another World Cup. <laughs> yeah, you never know. They may. You they definitely know. may. Um, and then, apart from obviously your own music, we've got obviously the way that you dance and the way that you move. And I know you've been in a lot of Bollywood films as well. Pretty's been showing me a few of them. Man, the way you move as well is pretty crazy. Thank you, you. Did you did you been dancing since you were a, a young girl? Yeah, like in my bedroom. Okay, so not not <laughs> yeah. like you weren't like you know I know for pretty for example being Indian you were doing dancing. Same thing. Yeah, it we was, just dance. That's what okay. we do. That's it. We just like, grow up. But we you learn you dance. went to classes and you had yeah schools but performances and, yeah. and I was on dance teams and stuff. But there's no formal training, right? No, there. I mean, I mean, in the end of the day, like my my parents are very conservative. So sure. if, I, if I said you know I want to dance, like go to go to school or go to sleep or something. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's there's no formal training in dancing and acting and all that stuff. But I always knew I had rhythm in my blood. Yeah. And I think where I pushed myself dance-wise is when I went to India because I was trying to find a way to get in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, it, I wasn't getting in in any other way. And then I'm like, okay, dance might be the way. And that was kind of my way to get in to open all the other doors. And then doing like a show like Big Boss, for example, which mm-hmm. is one of the most, it's one of the largest watch reality shows in the world. I mean, in India, but also oh, globally, the, yeah. the reach of it is crazy. You, you're trapped in a house. I mean, you're living with people mm-hmm. and you're really living with people. Mm-hmm. How was that experience? Was it overwhelming or was it okay? I think the last week before I left was very overwhelming. That's when I was just cussing everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> everyone. You know what I mean? And that too, in a, in a, in a foreign language. So yeah. Wow. It was making me even more angry. You know? <laughs> that was that was just the beginning. So Chris. when when you started doing that reality show, did you 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 were obviously aware of all the cameras? But then as time goes on, do they you start to forget about yeah, them, or you, you don't you care? Can, mm, you know what? You're too hungry. You're too sleepy. Like it, it, it gets exhausting. Because when I went into that show, I didn't think about it. Like about yeah. the circumstances sure. they put you into. I'm like, I just need to get out there. People need to know who I am. Sure. And then I need to get on Dancing with the Stars, the the, the Dal- Hindi version. Yeah. Dalak. Good on you. But when I w- was in the house, and I'm like, where's the food? <laughs> I'm hungry and I'm losing weight. Yeah. And I hate when I'm skinny. I don't look great when I'm skinny. <laughs> so and I was just losing weight, getting crankier. Yeah, you know, lack of sleep. Yeah, it's and crazy. then the camera's on you twenty four seven. Would yeah. you do it again no. if they gave you the op? No, 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 no. Not, no I, chance. I can't do it again because you know why? Because mm. my mouth is a weapon, okay. <laughs> and I don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't you gotta do be that. Careful. I, can't, I gotta be do careful. <laughs> I mean, you know, Chris, like whatever song Nora does in a movie. Yep. Forget the movie. The movie can do whatever it wants. The song will one million percent just go viral. That's awesome. Like this, our good friend Yohani did the Hindi version. Oh, Yohani! Yeah, yeah Yohani's a good friend of ours. She's yeah. lovely. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. she's lovely. We love, love Yohani. So she did the Hindi version of this, and Nora was featured in the video. Song wow. went everywhere. Hi, Garmi is another one. 
that just, oh yeah. my gosh, it just went vi- like whatever you touch turns to gold. It's crazy you say that, Preeti. I really appreciate that. But you know, like um, from I'd say 27, 2016 onwards, I decided that if I do any dance numbers in a movie, I want to convert them into performance oriented songs. Yeah. So it's not because we have this term in, 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 in the industry called item songs. Mm-hmm. We don't use that term anymore. It's basically like just a girl like being picturized in a song and all she's doing is being sexy. That's it. Sure. I'm like, why? Because item be more. songs, oh, they always give the best songs yes sure. for the item number the best songs i'm like you could do so much with this with choreography so much with a hook step so i really wanted to convert it into more of a dance moment where people can want to learn how to dance and copy the moves and copy yeah. the hook steps and essentially i feel like the conversion happened after dilber in 2018 for sure and after that anytime i, I get called for a song in a movie the directors the choreographers know okay guys Forget about the sexiness of it all. We need hardcore dance. Yeah, yeah. and it is. We need to elevate the level of Good. everything. And and I think that's what allowed me to sustain. It's awesome. You're paving the way for the, the young ones coming, the younger sure. ones. Like, what would you say to a 13 year old that had the same dream as you right now, that wanted to make it into Bollywood or, or Hollywood? Would you would you tell them just don't do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just... hard to say because I don't want to be that person because the industry gave me so much. Yeah. Um, it took a lot for me too, but it mm. also gave me so much. And I think what I would say whether they wanted to go into the industry or anything that they want to pursue in their life I would say to believe in yourself okay. it sounds so cliche and I used to be like eh, I didn't believe yourself as <laughs> that you know but when I look back if I didn't have immense self-belief then all the stuff that was hitting me would have just broke me down and I would have just probably packed my bags and left where does the yeah. self-belief stem from like you it, know. it stems from confidence yeah, yeah it does it stems from confidence and also being humble enough to upgrade yourself and learn um, I was not really a fantastic dancer before. I just thought I was, you know. When I look back at the videos, I'm like, oh God, like what were you doing? <laughs> but I pushed myself, and and when I didn't have resources, like I didn't have money to go to dance classes and get technical training, but. I just looked at like plan B. All right, YouTube. Yeah. You know, and then s- just spend hours. You know, they say if you spend how many hours doing something, you perfect it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, so I just didn't have a social life. I didn't, you know, do the college years, you know, that fun college. Yeah. I didn't pass through all that. I just worked on myself. Do you have time now to enjoy? Like, do you have someone in your life now that you're sharing it with? Like a man? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why not? My mom's watching this. Uh, <laughs> no, Mama, she's that. single. She's single until she gets married. Of uh. course, haram. Uh. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't because you know what? I should be enjoying life right now because like I'm making like yeah, yeah. Successful you've worked so that. hard, yeah. But no, I think I've done this for so long that I have this thing in my mind. I'm like, no, it's not enough. I gotta keep going. I gotta do something new. I gotta shock people more. I gotta improve more. It's not healthy. It's not. But I'm at that stage and I, I gotta figure it out. But that's what I'm doing right now. Give yourself time to find. I mean, you know, I'm not. You're trying to, you're you're trying trying to say anyone? I'm getting younger, so I you're need to. You're getting younger yes. every okay. day, you know. I get it. I totally get yeah. it. You're getting yeah. younger every day. <laughs> no, because you are you 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 are doing such extraordinary things, and you are where you. I, I've had this recently in my life where I've had to realize just Chill. stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Like yeah. you don't like need you're saying to. Saying this to me, and I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. trying, but I can't. No, I can get look at it. Stop. <laughs> just relax. You've done it. You've succeeded. You've ticked every box. But there's one more. (laughs) And there will always be one more. Well, listen, whatever you're doing, you're doing it right. And you've come into this studio with absolute humbleness, class, and elegance. And I think that's the most important thing as well. So apart from the 46 million people that follow you. wow! By the grace of God, I'm very grateful for that. Um, That's just love, really, love and support. And I think another thing that really helped is once I became successful and I realized this, people are really like celebrating my my dancing and the music and everything um and just me as a as a persona i started a hashtag called hashtag dance with nora um which is i call it a movement now awesome. <laughs> um and anytime a song releases whether it's my bollywood songs or my international tracks i start the hashtag dance with nora challenge and i'm like guys hop onto it dance put your videos up and my favorite ones i'll post them on my instagram wow. feed 
Um, so people essentially get a platform because awesome. I feel yeah. like they kind of gave me a platform. Yeah. And sometimes, or most of the time, when I'm doing the big stage performances, like for example, during the World Cup, we did the FIFA Fan Fest in Qatar before awesome. the closing ceremony. And even in Dubai, we did Dubai Expo and Abu Dhabi, we did IFA. I always start the challenge and I'll call up a winner on stage. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Give them a platform yeah. to be able to and showcase it's that. It's so crazy. Most of them something had happened for them after that. Yeah, like cool. one of yeah. them came on as a contestant on the dance show, Dance Divani, which I was judging. Oh, that's amazing. And they picked her up from that footage of her being on stage. The other one is like doing movies now. So cool. You know, so. What's dance, the hashtag again? Hashtag <laughs> Dance with Nora. Rossi's trying to get it. He wants a the platform. The next performance, you need to join me on stage. Yeah. Maybe I could you be don't like, know who's <laughs> going to see you, you know? Uh, yeah, well, or I could be like a, the first middle-aged Nora, overweight man in Bollywood, maybe. Um, I, I, anything's possible. Yeah. I think it is time for you guys to show your dance skills to Nora. Yeah, we do dance. We do Bollywood dancing, Rossi and I. Okay, We've gone good. viral a couple of times. Okay, good. We have to go to the doctors afterwards, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I think we will. I think we'll put something up on social yeah. media a little bit later on. I think this is great. Nora, we want to say thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for having Amazing. me. Uh, always welcome. The new single is out. It's called I'm Bossy. You can obviously get it on Virgin Radio or stream it wherever you want to stream your music from. But uh, anything you want to say to your fans before? Because there'll be a lot listening and you know seeing this on social media later. Yeah, what do you want to say? Definitely. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Please do stream. I'm bossy and all my other songs and dance to it hashtag dance with Nora so that I can repost you I love you guys the one the only it's Nora Fatay right here Virtual Radio 89.5